So in this video, check it out. This comes about from a question that I got as a message on Instagram on Sedge Tool. And I really had to give it some thought on how I would do this application. So stay tuned, I've worked it out and I'm gonna make it easy for you to do this because I know you're gonna run into this application. So check it out. So the question came about where someone watched on our channel how we put the domino in the center of a board, say a fixed shelf. And we were using in that video 18 millimeter or slash three quarter, okay, a little bit under three quarter. And they were using a thicker material and wanted to use that technique where if this is the top of the shelf and this is the, top, the side, we would fold it forward and reference the base of the domino like this and like this. But this is much thicker material, okay? And they wanted to know how they could do it with that technique, okay? And still get it close to the center. So that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So the first thing you're gonna do is what? Check out what the thickness of this is, okay? So come in here, Chris, so we can get this. I'm gonna take it out, and I don't have to be exactly in the center, but that's 35.5. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna round it up in this instance to make it easy for me, and say it's 36 millimeter thick. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of layout. Say I want this piece fixed to this piece, Say this is my side. Always label your pads. This is the side, I'll just call this the shelf. Okay, now this is the top of my shelf. Also, I'm gonna scribe a line and that is exactly where I want it. So now the only thing I'm gonna do is fold it forward. I'm gonna put the top, as I said in the previous video, the top to the top. So I'm just at the top of my shelf, that's the top line. I'm just gonna fold it forward. I use a, make sure the sides are all even. And then I'm gonna lock it in. Now when it's close to that, I always get another piece that's close in thickness. I lock it in like that. Bump it over like this. Okay. Yep. Good. So previously what we did is we would take the flap, bring it in here like this to get that mortise, and then take it like this to get this mortise. And I mentioned previously, <laughs> the distance from the base to the center of the bit is 10 millimeters. So that's the one increment or reference dimension you should always remember. Because if this is 36 millimeters, let's do a little math. Half of 36 is what? 18, correct? As far as I remember from school. So, hmm, 10 plus eight equals 18. So in my response to that person, I said, you gotta use shim stock. Well, what's the perfect shim stock? I'm gonna use dominoes while I do this, and you're gonna see how easy this is, because you always have dominoes on board. I'm gonna use, for this application, I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter bit, I'm going to set my, because uh, I'm going to use a 10 by 50 domino, and I'm just going to take it, I'm going to put it at 25, because half of 50 is what? 25. I'm going to punch 25 and 25. So I'm just going to get my machine ready here like this, and that's all I need to get going. So I made my own shim stock. It was really easy. I just reached in my domino sortina. Check it out. I took four dominoes, and I created a platform here like this. So this is how easy it is. I'm just going to turn it on. Come on over here so you can see this, and as we come over, you're gonna see how that's daggone close to the center. So now we gotta plunge in here, and that's even easier. So the next dimension we have to talk about is easy. We just take our two dominoes like that. Now, here's what's really neat. We're still not doing anything different. We're using these flaps here because the distance from the inside to here is 37. We're just gonna plunge vertical. So I'm gonna grab that flat, get my dominoes in there. Whoopsie. 
get them really well balanced. They say, and look, there's my eight millimeter offset. Plus 10 equals what? 18. So always remember when you turn on the domino in the vertical position, always pinch it on. So let's check this out. I'm gonna get that in there, 10 by 50, 10 by 50. There's the top of my shelf. I'm just gonna bring it in and get that quick rip. Look at that. Perfect on the side. Chris, get in here perfect like that. It's, the domino is in the middle again. Okay, as you can see, it's wicked easy. It's just understanding the offsets or the reference points to the domino machine and learning how to offset that and measure it. So there you go, and as we always say, woo, be positive and stay sharp.